spaceship. A lizard kidnapped you and held you captive on a spaceship? May I take your photo? I might be able to identify you. Have you been drinking? He drugged me. That I remember. We're gonna need to get you to the hospital. We don't know what you've been given. Is your name Aisha? Yeah. Yeah, it's Aisha. Aisha Carter. I found your social media page. Looks like you stopped posting two months ago. That must have been when you were kidnapped. Yes, my friends. He's holding them hostage. I, I, I left them there. No, Aisha, no, calm no, down. Aisha. Hey, Arlen. Thank you for taking time. I was speaking with Urban Breezes. My name is Aries. How you doing? Aries, pleasure's all mine. Thank you for taking the time. No problem. I'm a huge fan of the show. I'll start there. I love this show, so I'm so excited for season two because I watched the finale. <laughs> one more. You got one more. One more before uh, before season two. Yep, I watched it already. Yeah, I oh, watched you it. Did. Oh, you lucky. Okay, you had. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by asking you, what first attracted you to the role of Steve? Oh man, uh, I think how broken he is, but how mm. much of a hero he still wants to be. Uh, Zeke, he felt like a real person. Felt like a real person he wasn't perfect and um and and i love the fact that a lot of his uh i guess his his swag and his energy i was attracted to that as well a lot of times um roles that i've auditioned for a lot of time that part of me gets dumb gets dumbed down a little bit and put in a certain specific category but with zeke there's so many places for him to go i can be smart i can be fashionably fly at the same time i can have a big heart um i can you know I, I can be a real person that's layered so yeah zeke is uh he's real i think that's really what, what attracted me to the character I like that and then tell our viewers a little bit about zeke because we're still learning about him uh so zeke is uh one part of the mosley and associates team uh he suffers from agoraphobia and uh with that a lot of his uh, help within the team happens from his home. He's their eyes and ears where they can see. He's, uh, he's a master tech person. Um, but at the same time, I think more than anything, Zeke is a, uh, he's a people person. Even though he's not around people all the time, you notice with his team, he's always looking to connect with them. When they come over to, to pay a visit with him, there's always a good rapport. So he's not a even though he lives in isolation, I don't think Zeke necessarily thrives and, and, and searches for that isolation. It just happens to be where he is within his trauma. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of sense, actually. And then talk a bit about um, just why you think viewers are attracted to the series because it's blowing up every week, more viewers, more tweets, <laughs> more tweets about it. So what do you think it is about the series? I think, I think found gives people, first off, it gives you satisfaction. You get to chase something, you know, everybody loves to chase. You get to chase something, but you're not chasing something that seems so far away. Uh, I think a lot of our cases that we get to solve, you get to meet real people and it's not always good guy, bad guy. It's just real people. And once you're dealing with real people, you can lose and win, or you could win and lose, you know? Um, and then at the same time, you get to meet uh, these characters, the Mosley and Associates team, and you realize they're not perfect. They've all got their own issues and, and drama that they're still trying to figure out. And you get to go on that journey with them. And you see broken people trying to be a, a good difference in the world. And I think that's really what attracts people to the show. Aside from the great agree. writing and such. <laughs> right. I would definitely agree about that. And it's not okay. I come bearing gifts. This is Matthews? I thought this was no screens household. Mom told a little white lie. She knew Matthew was having trouble with the divorce, so she tried to minimize the pain with gifts. Something like that. Except she thought this was a straight up old school video game. Translation, she didn't know this bad boy connects to the internet. Bingo. Matthew has a digital footprint. We've wasted hours by not having this sooner. All right, it is doing its thing. It should only be a few minutes. 
You know, these missing kid cases are hard on me, too. As a fellow child, a kidnappy. They really need a better name for people like us. Honestly, Lace, I'm fine. Talk about something else? OK, I learned this neat little trick in one of my law classes this week to use on witnesses to, like, tell if they're lying. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You can tell a person is lying based on a few things, like a rise or fall in tone, or avoiding eye contact, or repeating the question back to you, or if a person uses a modifier, like, honestly, or truthfully. Crap. <laughs> How many markers did I hit? Three of the four, but who's counting? <laughs> How do you stay so positive, given what's happened to you? I mean, why aren't you more triggered? I have a couple of tools at my disposal, like therapy and uh, Gabby. I mean, I'm not glad that I got kidnapped, but I would have never met Gabby. I can't imagine my life without her. Full disclosure, though, I, um, I have my moments, especially because Sir is still out there. Just so you know, I check the hotline every day, a few times a day. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's uh, see what we got. And then talk a bit about your cast, working with them, what's that? Oh, man. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm incredibly fortunate and blessed. We, we got a great group. We've got a great number one in Shinola. Uh, even though I shoot a lot of my stuff alone, they're on another stage across the way. They pop over, they come and visit. We, we laugh together. We, we break bread together. Uh, we really have a really good family. NK uh, did an amazing job bringing us together. Even our, uh, our crew uh, from, from our, our, our pilot director, Domaine, uh, who's amazing. I mean, to go across the board, I would, I would match us up against any, any series, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I see a lot more seasons coming. <laughs> I received and, then, and appreciate it. And then being that season one is a wrap, what was your best favorite part about filming? Wow. Uh, the best experience of filming? I think there's was, was twofold. So my favorite part about filming was just starting. It was a it was it was a while before we started, got to Atlanta, got set up. Uh, and that day one, it was like, oh, wow, we're really doing this. This is really happening. And then uh, once we got down to those last couple episodes and you realize how quick time flies and you're like, OK, all right. So now we did a thing and you felt we felt so accomplished and good about the thing that we did. And then you get to wait and see what happens. And, you know, NBC uh, bless them. You know, we're back for, for a season two. So um, I think it was that beginning, that first day and that last day, you know, where you get to start something and then you get to finish it and you look back and you see the beautiful work that you've done, the new family that you've created. It just felt good. And, it, and it's going to feel great to go back to work as well. Mm -hmm. I bet. I love that. And then tell everybody why they need to tune into the season finale of Wow this Tuesday. Oh, oh man. <laughs> if you haven't heard, uh, you need to tune in because Sir is no longer in the basement. I, I, you know, that, that's all you need to know. Sir is no longer in the basement and everything's about to hit the fan. Uh, I think everybody's being pushed to the to their limits in, in different ways. And um, it's I'm, I can't wait to see how what the audience thinks, you know, how we unravel, how we bond together, what happens, how it happens. It's um, we're there. Everything you were scared or, or worried about from that very, very first episode, like, oh, my God, what could happen? It's about to happen. So, yeah, if you miss it, you miss it, but if you know, you know. <laughs> that is so true. I can't wait to tweet to the <laughs> <laughs> And then what's next for you? Oh, man. At this point, obviously continuing to stay busy with Found, um, trying to create as much as I can. I'm trying to be very proactive in my career. Uh, I'd love to be not just, you know, just an actor. Uh, I want to write. I want to direct. Uh, and I want to make sure that I'm really stretching my wings and digging deep into the cre into those creative parts of myself so that I'm not just a uh, a, a one trick pony or, you know, I, I want to make sure that I'm just satisfying myself creatively. 
So, uh, you know, I'm going to chase it. I'm going to chase all those creative avenues and see uh, see what fleshes out. No doubt. I'll see more big things than you guys thought. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No problem. Before we wrap, is there anything else you want to share with our audience? Uh, just thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the show. Uh, we love and appreciate you. And just know that as much as you guys love the show, we love the show and you guys that much more. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens next. I really, really, I can't wait to read the script for season two. I can't wait to find out what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, thank you for taking time to speak with me. Again, my name is Aaron from Urban Bridges. Again, huge fan of the show. I expect more big things from you. So continue success. Aries, thank you. Thank you, Urban Bridges. Much appreciated, my brother. Happy New Year to you. And uh, we will see you in season two. For sure. You have a good one. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a blessed one.